Welcome to Extreme Chunk PvP. In this series, Link and myself randomly selected two chunks for us to start in. We are not allowed to unlock more chunks until all available content in our last chunk is completed. We have four hours on the clock and we fight at the end of each episode. If you win, 15 minutes are rewarded to you for the next episode's progression. The winner is declared for whoever wins the last fight. These are on Jagex hosted worlds, so it's times 10 XP, double resources for skilling, and five times drop rates for rare items. Hey, I bet you spend a lot of time in front of a screen. Maybe it's because of work, schoolwork, video games, or maybe it's because of that series you've been binging for the past week. Here's the thing, that screen produces blue light and blue light can cause a whole array of different problems. That's where GMG glasses come in. GMG performance glasses act as a shield against that blue light and that can help reduce eye strain. My job is entirely online and I sit at the computer for much longer than I would like to admit. GMG glasses are perfect helping me reduce that eye strain for when I do those really, really long grinds. This benefits me by allowing me to concentrate much better at my work. It allows me to help maintain my vision over the course of the long term and the best part, it allows me to get much better quality nights of sleep because after a long night of gaming, I don't want to rip my eyeballs out because they, you know, they irritate me so much. And guess what, guys? For a special Black Friday deal, if you head down to the description, click that link, you can get a pair of GMG glasses for 50% off. A deal this good only comes around once a year, guys, so make sure to go check them out. Click the link down below. So don't strain those eyes and you can look good while doing so. Hello, Vs and Gs. Welcome back to another of the uh, the Chunk PvP challenge, and someone's calling me. Right, now that we're not going to get rudely interrupted, um, hello, how are we? Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Chunk PvP challenges. If you have missed any of the previous episodes, click the players up in the top right corner or the players in the description. Hello, how are we? Now that everyone who hasn't watched the previous episode should have clicked the players. If you haven't at this point, it's your own fault. Um, yeah, we, we lost again. <laughs> we lost again. But that's because Kins are just so much more superior in terms of stats over me, not because um, he uh, has better gear or anything. I'd say it's pretty even in terms of... Uh, gear and stuff like that so it is just a case of we're a lower combat which is absolutely fine we can we can fix that in the uh, next episodes um what we do have to do is we do need to do just a few more things in our chunks so if i can grab this up there we go um yeah so we uh last episode unlocked the remington chunk so that we can start firing on over to Ardy um and stuff like that and uh, the last things we got to do is mine gold ore and smell a gold bar um, so as you can see, last episode we got a load of iron together. So I'm gonna start making it all here in Varrock. In, in Varrock, I'm gonna make it in Lumbridge. I can't use this anvil, so we've got to go over to Varrock with the uh, the iron bars that we make. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna start this timer. For whatever reason, there's like two V clocks on now. It's all it's all going on, guys. It's all going on. You know what? I like the smaller one. I like the smaller one. There we go. Uh, let's start this timer and let's jump into making some iron bars here. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 5. Yet again, another troll killing episode. We can kill trolls pretty fast now, which is very reassuring. I think I say that every episode as well, but it really does get faster and faster and faster with every single episode. So we're really hoping we actually get it this time around. Um, I mean, we definitely should. There's no reason why we can't kill another 158 this episode, and our odds are going to be pretty high to get it, of course, if we kill that many, which we will kill that many if we have to. Um, so I definitely think I should get it this episode, but, you know, fingers crossed. We do have that extra 15 minutes on the clock yet again. Um, our current task is to get that Myth Square Shield, so let's start that clock, and let's top off on kebabs, and, um, start killing some trolls, you know? It's, it's, it's the same. All right, this will be the last iron ore we need to get for the level. There we go, 40 mining coming in, which means we can just jump on over here, grab ourselves the gold ore. Um, and all those bars I made at the start, um, hopefully should be able to get me to 40 smithing as well. So I'm going to fire over to um, Varrock now so that we can make all those iron bars into uh, like swords probably, so we can sell them back to the sword shop. And what I might do is I might actually hit the home telly 
um, so that we can actually smith these. Although we won't be able to smith these until 40. So we've got to go to Varrock first. So yeah, we'll go to Varrock straight away. Right, guys, that is 40 smithing coming in. So we can now make up those gold bars. Uh, I will finish off this inventory and then we'll grab the gold bars from the bank. And then, uh, yeah, as soon as I make that, that is this chunk completed. There we go, guys. Let's just get the other one done as well. And then we will grab this up. Okay, so the last thing there is the smelt the gold bar. Boom, that is everything done on the list. So we can now open this up, which I'm pretty sure will get no new tasks. Correct, unreal stuff. Obviously, we haven't started Dragon Slayer, so we don't get any of the uh, Melzar tasks. Even I don't even know if there would be any, to be honest. Uh, which then opens up the port. Now, we could either go to Corsair Cove, not really worth it, or we can go to Ardy with Captain Barnaby. So these tasks are what we're going to have. We have Cook Curry, which is a 19 heal. So that is an upgrade on the food and also should be quicker than making the potato and cheeses. Cut a diamond as well, which 43 crafting might be a bit of a grind, but we can now make uh, gold bars and stuff like that. So the crafting might be okay. Smith and Mithril Dagger, we'll probably get that just passively getting uh, gold bars together. And then pickpocket a hero for 80 thieving. Um, obtain a steel full helm as well. So uh, yeah, it's again a, a little bit more skilling. I, I can see that, guys. But... We get a food upgrade, and we're close to a rune scimitar over here. I don't think there'll be too many tasks. I'm sure I'll be able to, like, forge a path through here where there isn't too many tasks. Rune scimitar over here. We've also got, you know, the access to the Grand Tree and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be a really good spot to, uh, to get ourselves sorted in. I think there's so many options to go for. Oh my gosh, it happened. It happened. 70 kills today. Or I should say this episode. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I know I don't have the gnats yet, but again, I can get gnats so much easier elsewhere. But before I do that, since I can't make too much money from the... Oh, I can't. Sorry. My, my head's in a bit of a fog right now. I think we're going to walk down to... Um, Camelot. So since we can't really get money from killing the elementals, I'm probably going to make the money first for the rune long sword and then get that and then kill the elementals because that'll be the quickest way for us to complete this chunk at least i believe so back down to camelot we're probably gonna have to do some wood cutting some fletching uh we have a steel axe now so hopefully it's a bit faster and you know sell it to the general store make some money thankfully we have 25k it's a very nice starting cast jack we need 41 point something so it shouldn't be too bad, honestly. I'm kind of really excited now because I feel like I was trapped there. And now now, now we're free to roam, baby. We're free to roam. To be honest, I'm not really sure which one's better to cut. I know that a maple longbow unstrung gives twice as much as a willow longbow unstrung. Uh, the, the main problem is, of course, how slow our maple is going to be to cut. So it, it honestly doesn't seem too bad. I've only been cutting that tree for about 45 seconds. I think I got a bit lucky, though. But we're going to try it out. If this is a bit slow, we're just going to hop to Willows. The one benefit with Willows is that it does increase our fletching and our wood cutting probably faster than it will cutting maples. And that means if we ever want to come down here, it'll be much easier, of course, because we would have kind of started the grind already. But right now, I'm really just focused on getting that rune longsword as fast as possible. So I will go at the fastest money-making route. Unless it's pretty darn close, then I guess Willows would be the move. So we have 25k, we have 365 maple longbones, unstrung 105, so the maple was much better. We also have some stuff that we can sell. So I'm going to do all this stuff real quick. We don't want to sell both of those. That that would not be good. We need one for the fight. Um, but there's definitely some alchemical stuff in here that we can get rid of, and they'll see how much money we have. So yeah, if we look here, the maple sells for exactly double that of the willow, and we have enough money. I forgot I could also sell the adamant sword as well. Um, simply because I'm not going to need it anymore. Usually, I would think the tier below of a certain type of metal for a sword versus a longsword is better, but I get a ton of strength bonus, and I think I'm going to definitely need that strength bonus, especially when I'm lacking in things like strength amulets and stuff, so I definitely think a rune longsword is going to be better in almost every single circumstance, especially the fight. Uh, do I want to do that? No, I don't really need gems too much. I have a lot of sapphires in the bank from killing trolls, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. But we're going to sell this back to the shop, and we're going to buy that rude longsword, guys. I'm so happy. Sell. I don't even know how much that sold for. 41k. And that is a task. 
completed. That's two tasks completed. Wield it and obtain the best in slot rune longsword. That is so nice. I'm off to elementals now, but I just wanted to comment at how um, cool I look right now. I look really cool right now. So we made it to elementals, but don't worry, that's not actually why I'm recording. As you can see, where my timer usually is, it shows a max hit. Don't worry, the timer is in fact still ticking down. It's just an overlay. That's why it switches when I switch tabs. Um, it looks like we are killing these guys much faster, by the way, which is awesome. But I was a little nervous, you know, seeing if this was actually the best in slot weapon. I know it's a tick slower, but I do think it is. It gives over 20 attack bonuses better than, you know, the Addy Sword did. It's just slash instead of stab. But the max hit, if I'm strength potted and using ultimate strength, is 17 versus only a 13 with the Addy Sword because it gives that much strength bonus difference. This is 49 strength versus the 28 strength in um, or on the Addy Sword. And I told you, I have so many sapphires. Um, I should probably really figure out how I'm going to get um, recoil soon because those are going to be freaking awesome for the fight. But yeah, just want to show you guys that. Um, and worst case scenario, if this really does suck a lot, I always have access to the Addy Sword that I can still buy back. It's pretty cheap, but I can't really see this being worse. Holy crap, just got 70 attack off for 70 strength. We probably won't get it this video, but we'll be pretty dang close to it. But our first 70 skill, look at that. Also going to buy a chisel while I am here because, um, you know, we are going to be thieving probably Arty Knights for quite a while because we're going to get that 80 thieving. Probably not too long, actually. We're already close to 70. Um, but I'll just buy from the gem shop while I'm there. And uh, that way we'll be able to just chisel sort of like gems as I go. Passively get a little bit more crafting XP. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Let's fire on over. So, here we are. Um, I also have unlimited food in the form of a cake stall as well. So, we don't need to, like, go and kill, like, you know, cows or something. And have a have a, have a short heal. Like, this is going to be so much easier to do the pickpocketing. Uh, as I say, I'm going to be trading with the gem guy here. No, I'm not. Because they're already cut. Okay. That's a bit annoying. That's a bit annoying. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, so, yeah, as I say, we're just going to go in here. Get an inventory of food, and then we will uh, we'll get an RD night together, and surely it's going to be decent money. It's going to be banging XP as well. I think we're going to be getting like 800 plus per pickpocket, which is lovely. Uh, let's start with this and just see how much we're going to get caught. There we go. On the first one, we uh, successfully do it. Let's change the hidden. Let's see how this is going to go. 843 per pickpocket. Obviously, we're going to be getting 50 coins as well. Don't have the rogues outfit, which uh, would have been lovely, but uh, not really worth it. Uh, looks like we're going to get caught fairly often. Uh, I'll probably look at the percentages in a bit, and then later on I'll be able to tell you the exact percentage. But it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm getting caught every single time, which is nice. Uh, yeah, we should be able to make a huge, huge cash stack here, especially going for 80 thieving, which I think I'm just going to bang out, to be honest, guys. Um, yeah, that's probably, probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, yeah, we're going to have a ridiculous cash bar that we'll be able to spend on all sorts of upgrades when we get those levels. All right, guys, 80 is coming in. Of course we fail on the, uh, I think this is the last one we need before we get 80. There we go, 80 coming in. We can now pickpocket from heroes. I think the chance of pickpocketing from a hero is pretty poor, so we might fail a few times here. But let's see. Yeah, that's the first time, and he's going to hit fours on us. 83k as well of disposable cash now and there we go 2.7k per pickpocket that is absolutely ridiculous um okay we got some coins you can also get some other things from him um so i will just try i'm not sure i think you can get death runes and blood runes and stuff as well i just want to see what this fail rate's going to be like looks pretty poor so i'm not going to bother any further we're going to start doing some combat i'm going to kill paladins um and we're trying to going to try and get this steel uh full helm Finally, I can start training on something to uh, to try and at least get it going. I don't know what the rarity is. I will give it a little check um, and update you on that. But yeah, there we go. And obviously, we've got unlimited food in the cakes, which is great. So it turns out the paladins are just a little bit too strong for me to kill them effectively. So what I'm doing instead is I'm killing guards. And while killing guards, I'm stealing from the spice stall and the gem stall um, because we'll be making curries for our food for this fight. Um, and we will also need these gems for, for future things and, of course, to get that crafting up to 46 as well. And on top of that, I'm going to need to get a gem or a diamond 
from here as well so I can cut it because I think that's going to be the easiest way of getting a diamond together. So just passively doing it is the uh, is probably the best way of doing this and just training while I do it as well. Um, we'll get onto the steel fall helm from the um, what's it called from the paladins at probably next episode when I'm a little bit stronger. Um, but as I say, it's just a little bit too tough here, and we'll be banking everything in here. So we've got the uh, we've got the constant bank, and we've got the constant food as well. So yeah, we're uh, we're pretty self sufficient here, which is very very nice in a chunk challenge like this. Huge news, guys! I didn't even realise mid watching YouTube videos, we've got an uncut diamond. Absolutely sick. Um, it is one in one two eight from the gem stall. So I mean, it probably would have happened, but it would have been super annoying to be like sort of done with this area and just waiting on a uh, on a diamond to come through. So lovely to see. Uh, just a case of getting that forty six crafting now, so that we can go ahead and cut that. I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I was getting a bit nervous because we didn't have a strength pot for this fight, but it turns out that we just got one with twenty minutes left on the clock. Perfect. So I wasn't expecting to get 70 strength in this episode, honestly, but that's 70 attack and strength now, switching over to defense. I mean, we're definitely not going to get a defense level. Actually, I don't know. Maybe we will. It's so hard to tell, to be honest. I don't usually use a rune longsword to train, and it's usually never 10 times XP. So, um, But yeah, guys, we are at 46 nature rune, so we will 1 million percent be out of this chunk by next episode. Um, we are about halfway to the amount of nature runes that we actually need to top off on that 50 smithing. So we are getting close, and the only thing we really have to show for these chunks is probably our stats, because that's where we're really going to shine. And hopefully Link isn't really training too much this episode. I mean, he has access to Port Serum. He could literally go anywhere around the map. He he has a lot of maneuverability. So we are coming up on the end of the episode. Don't worry. We have enough stews in the bank. I only took out what, you know, I could afford to take this episode without actually having to go back and get more. That's why I'm pretty much out of um food or health right now, I should say. And I how could I not have gotten that one kill? That's so annoying. All right, guys, we're going to try something different. We're going we're going nuclear here, and uh, I'm going to go for magic this fight uh, just because I don't think I'm going to be able to get anywhere near him um, with the uh, with the melee stats I've got, um, but maybe with the magic. So I bought myself a fire stuff, and I'm going to go with the priest gowns rather than any armor. I'm going to go priest gown, priest bottom, whatever, um, so that we can get as high a prayer bonus as possible meaning that i can keep my protection prayer on for as long as possible and hopefully um that will be the difference i'm gonna go all the way up to fire blast with the death runes now that we've got like 80k and on top of that i can go to rd knights whenever i want um and at 80 thieving they they hardly catch me to be honest uh, it's a lot of money per hour so we need to start spending this money uh so aubrey mate what I'm going to need from you is some death runes. That's by 50 right now. Probably going to buy 100 of them, I reckon. Um, so we've got the fire runes we need as well. Um, and then all, all the air runes even. We've got the fire stuff. So uh, I'll probably just buy 10 of these. As I say, money is not an issue anymore for us, which is just so, so, so nice. There's a 1,000 there, which is going to be easily enough for 100 casts. Um, you know what? I'll kill some guards for 10 minutes, and then I'll come back when the stock is back. Okay, let me get it out of the way. I obviously did my math wrong, and I am stuck with one mackerel for this fight. So I was wrong when I said I had the right amount of stews. I also didn't know I was going to get that strength pot, so I really just messed up. But hopefully that is not going to bite us in the butt, because we have two new upgrades in this fight. We have the Mithril Square Shield, as well as the Rune Longsword. Plus, our stats are looking really good. We did get that 69 defense, and we are 85 combat. Let's go for attack on the fight, because I don't think it'll add us a max hit. But I will check before we actually hop in the fight. So, of course, it's just the Mithril Bar, really, that's holding us back. The Ore, as well as the Silver Stall, are two very easy things. Everything else is checked off. And then we, just like Link, can maneuver around the map much, much easier. Next episode, it will definitely happen. Forgot how many nature runes we had in the bank, but it's quite a bit now. We need around 95 to 100 it was, I think, when I did the calculation. So we're almost there. We are almost there, and I'll see you guys in the fight.
All right, guys, this is what we're going for. We are going looking like an absolute chad here. Uh, the Willow Shield doesn't give any negative magic, so I'm going to chuck that on as well. Uh, plus 12 magic attack, um, but we do have a plus 6 prayer bonus, which gives us 20% give us longer um, prayer, which is unreal. Uh, I am bringing the Addy Sword just because, to be honest, I didn't have enough food anyway to fill up an inventory it would have been like a, a meat pizza there or something so might as well take that if he does take all his armor off i'll just start giving him a stab here and there and try and come in with the uh, with the uh, the fire blast after obviously as i say we are going with the fire blast which does hit 16s and we're just trying to outlast him and have that prayer on for as long as possible so uh let's see how this goes let's jump into it hello hello link four more hours hello. have come and gone yes how are we doing uh, today uh you know what, mate? I'm 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 happy with the direction the account's going in. Um, still not happy with my combat level, but um, you know that's going to take some time to catch up with you. Obviously, did you do um, a lot of combat in this episode? No, not really. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, any any reason? I, I mean, you're in that Varrock yeah, region. I don't so, know exactly where you are, but so I got to Captain Barnaby and went to Ardy. Oh. Okay. And you have to pickpocket a hero, so I now have 80 thieves. <laughs> <laughs> oh but oh, man. because of that, I do have a lot of cash. I had like 85k at one point. Oh like, my gosh. So I'm I'm cash rich. I can buy things I want. Um obviously while I was doing that, I was also thieving gem stalls and spice stalls and stuff like that, so that I could get like as many uncut gems as I wanted. So, I, like, the account's in a good stead, but it's still behind yours, I would say, right now. Right. Uh, I mean, I did do a lot of combat again <laughs> in right, this episode. Brilliant. Oh, of course you um, did. Fuck! I, and, Link, you know, I'm, ju I'm just way too excited to hold this back. I know I'm jumping steps here, but I'm oh. buzzing. <laughs> I got it, Link. <laughs> How many kills this episode? Like 70 or something. Oh, wow. So it still oh, took a really little bit. Dry. Yeah, we're like close to 400 kills, I'd say, is roughly mm -hmm. how long it took for a 1 in 128 drop. And it sucks, dude. I've gotten like five Renar seeds, and they're one out of 181. And it's like, I don't need wow. these. I don't fucking wow. need these. That's um, insane. But yeah, let's do a combat level reveal real quick. Um, that is mine, guys. Okay. So you can see. I'll count us in. Three, two, one, go. Okay. I mean, you're definitely higher at least than, than last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So know? I think I did about an hour of training, I would say. Um, once okay. I realized I couldn't finish the rest of the chunk off, I was just like, right, I'll do some combat. So I killed the guards in the RD square while pickpocketing the gem store. Yeah, it's actually funny. It's like, I, I, I know you were killing guards because they had that drop table update that we yeah. had to turn off. And I'm like, those drops look oddly like guard drops. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, but they are so, turned off now. They, they just defaulted yeah. on with the update. But that's funny. Um, uh, so yeah, the, the, the gem still takes 100 seconds to restock. And obviously it didn't make sense just to stand there and wait. So I... Uh, right, so you killed the Artie guards in Artie. Yeah, because one task in Artie is to cut a diamond. And a diamond's 1 in 128 from the gem store. So oh. like, that was like the only way to get a diamond. So I had to like... I had to do it, you know, passively. And luckily, I did get it. And you so, might need uh, that for Lost City if that's on the uh, horizon. Okay. <laughs> I know there you're you in go. that it's area, you know. All they got together. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Um, all right. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll start with the reveal. Chuck on that You've shield. You've already got shield. You know? So here we go. Oh, is the Willow he's, boy? He loves that Willow thing. Mate, she's she's a beaut. She's a yeah. beauty. I'm telling I mean, you. what it's, are it's... the stats on that thing? Dude? I so never make those shields. Six stab. Seven slash five crush plus two magic plus six range plus two. It's magic, all across the board, you know. It's all across the board, man. You know, <laughs> not bad. Yeah. Uh, all right, it's your pick, man. All right, let's get boots. No, the, I don't have get any. Some. Dad, you love the no. boots. I, I love how you call boots as if I'm gonna have, or you too, <laughs> as if I'm gonna have different boots. <laughs> I feel like I'm more of a troll when we come through. Yeah, okay. So I, I like let let me go head. gloves now, Link. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gee, I wonder what I'm going to see. Boom. Oh, gosh. Cape. No cape. <laughs> Actually, wow. I hate this man. <laughs> All right. I'll hit us off with something big. I'm going to say it probably hasn't changed for you either. Oh, my God. He's going magic. <laughs> he's going magic. Are you going magic, Link? 
uh, or are you just going mind. prayer? Pre is that, is that pre scout? It's a pre pre scout. Maybe he's trying to maximize his prayer. Okay. All right. It's your pick. It's got legs, mate. Yeah, I don't know. This could go any way. Priesty boy, I'm 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 gonna bless you, mate. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. A priest is on the wild in the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming for you. Okay. Um, let me check on the uh good old helm then. Mm. Okay, he's definitely going magic. Yep. See, I first thought. Well, at first thought I thought magic. Then I was thinking melee, but try to maximize your overhead prayer. But yeah. that hat just uh. What would you say it. if I did this? I would say you're gonna hybrid me. You'd, you'd be make me take correct. off my armor. <laughs> you'd be completely. I mean, correct. that'd be the dumbest thing in the world to bring that hat yeah, over yeah, anything correct, else, correct, unless you planned correct. on doing that. <laughs> um, I got a, a weapon upgrade. You can probably uh, guess what's about to come, but we do have fuck. the rune long. How long did it take to make that money, dude? It see the trolls took so long, Link. That I had like 25k from there, and then I spent like an hour and 15 minutes doing maples because they were more money than willows, and I would just cut them and they would sell for like 32 GP each at the general store because I only have one general store we can't hop, so I have yeah. to get the lowest amount for it. And there's mm -hmm. no special Jenny over there where you get like the high alk value, but like yeah. an hour and 15 minutes, and here we go, we've got it. Okay. All right. We've got it, but I'm still stuck in that chunk because I don't have the smithing level. Which well, I mean, I, I'm gonna be stuck in the old. Uh... <gasps> no, <laughs> I I I did have one already. It's in my inventory, but we got a four doser now. I'll only use two for the fight, but I'm I already I I, 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 I already combined it, but it's a two dose. Um, I am going with fire blast. By the way, ooh, fire so, uh... fucking blast. Yeah, I got a hundred death runes. Now that I can pick one at RD Knights, Ooh, guys, mate, I, think like, you know, <laughs> I think he's got uh, this. I think he's got this. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't I think know. you're gonna rip through me still. I I actually wish I had my Addy Sword because I think with without your armor, would be speed would have yeah, been better. Be yeah, for sure, for sure. Ah, so yeah, as I was saying, I kind of fucked up a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. I was getting a little bit too carried away with training mm -hmm. and trying to get nature runes that I, I, I did a really quick like mental calc on how many stews I should take out for training and still right. leaving some left over the fight. So, uh, <laughs> God. Oh, it's, it's, just one? It, it's only one, but just one. Right, <laughs> you know, okay, my yeah. mental math is a bit wrong. <laughs> Right, yeah. Wow, yeah. Okay. look at that. Okay, so you're, you're, I'm, I'm assuming, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but just for the viewer, um, I'm assuming you're going to mage me. I take off my armor. You try to get in some hits with that sword certified. Correct. I mean, hey, mm. yeah, it, it, it was, it was because I know you have an all right magic level. So just armor off. You probably do have some fairly decent defense against me. Yeah. Um, was the thought process. You get first hit, man. Just let me know mm -hmm. when to start potting. Yeah, cool, uh, man. Yeah. yeah. Here's your two-second warning. Cool. Guys, I have no idea what to pray. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to just... You're fucking with me. Uh, <laughs> Got to move deeper. <laughs> how do we make that mistake twice? I don't know. Wait, just stop what right here. We... No, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. fine. This is fine. Right. Here, wait. Just you like... ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, go. Go. Oh, okay, I, I, guys, I'm gonna try to not flick with my protect from magic up because it's just gonna make a train so much faster. He's hitting. He's hitting. Okay. Not hitting. All right, we're gonna eat that so we can. Actually, I should have checked the negative magic crap. I don't know what the what the best thing to take off is, honestly. Now, he does have a lot more food, which is a bit concerning, but I feel like as soon as my prayer drops, but then I guess yours is dropped too. We both don't have any prayer uh, pots. God. Yeah, prayer pots are fucking huge. Come on. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something different. Mystic Might and switch to Strength oh, Prayer as attack come on hit hit what the hell 
16. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> just ask, bro. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Yep, he's, he's coming in hot. He's coming in hot. Let's just keep eating. Let him waste his prayer a bit more. Oh, he's got the fucking priest shit on. 20% extra um, prayer. The top and the bottom give. Now it's anyone's game. Oh, that hurts. That hurts, kids. Oh, oh yes. no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. All right, he's not switching. This whole time I'm convinced you're, you're going to go melee at some point. Got to keep you guessing, mate. I can't hit. Keep I the shield hit. on just in case, guys. I know it's still on, but... Surprised you didn't... Okay, okay. I gotta be careful about, about our prayer now, guys. Crap, I'm not the best prayer flicker, as literally everybody knows, and I get roasted for it on the fucking daily. Um, <laughs> oh, my quick prayers aren't right. Come on. Yes. And again... Chopping away at the stews. Uh, the steery boys. Dude, I hate anything that isn't four tick. I suck at flicking <laughs> anything that isn't four tick. <laughs> so oh, you sex it! <laughs> Guys, alright, I'm just gonna flick oh, ultimate strength God. because it's not it's not working the other way. Uh oh, you could no you can't. 17 HP. Okay. Uh, I get the chaos coordinates uh, out. just brought the sword to literally just be annoying so i'd be second guessing myself i fuck me i can't prayer flick <laughs> you out i'm out though <sighs> you're still fucking hitting like i trained so oh i think i wasted too much with trying to keep on mystic might right uh can i squeeze in a hit i'm not gonna risk it i'm not gonna risk it head pit there Way less accurate than I thought it was going to be. Same, honestly. What's that? A one? <laughs> yeah, when you hit, you definitely don't want it a one. Oh, man. I don't know what... Staff bashing. He's staff bashing. We're just gonna eat. 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 You are fucking with me. I, I don't know if you mean to do that. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Hit! Oh yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't believe this. He's out. He's out! I have two stews, bro! Oh, oh. How was I not hitting? I Ow! How? Two stews! Uh, 19 HP. How many death runes did I drop? 22. Oh, I wasted like 10k there. That was close, though. You had me on my that toes, hurts. man. That hurts. That hurts like a fucker. I thought you that had hurt. that. Dude, you were not hitting. I guess, I, know, I mean, I, I, have, I have 50 magic now, if that means anything. I don't know, but... <laughs> oh, gosh. Ooh. Ah! We will have another episode out in probably, like, two days' time, guys. Or maybe one day's time. We have, we, we have a lot of uploads coming out, so we don't have an exact schedule. But expect one very, very shortly. And yeah. we will see you guys then.